welcome guys thanks for tuning in for another video today um we'll be looking at today the fourth and final uh run in the series of the shipwreck uh, coins put out by the royal australian mint um they do come in the bu and also an antique version which i do not have um all the power to you if you do have those um as we all know the antique does bring out um a lot more detail in the coins um Definitely a coin worth getting if you want to pay the money for it. They are quite a bit more expensive than the BU. But in saying that, the BU coin are a really nice coin to own. Um, we'll go back and start with the very first, which was the Batavia coin. So here it is. Now these are an upside down coin, so the writing basically is straight up. And then when you flip it, you see the ship itself. Um, I'd say that's a take on the ship actually going under and sinking. Um, that's my take on it. Uh, could be wrong. And when we flip it, we've got Her Majesty the Queen with a bit of um, artwork on the shores of the um, Western Australian coastline. So it was a great coin to start the series. Obviously, uh, we can all see that they're a triangular coin. Um, I think it fits this, fits this design really well. Uh, especially with the shape of the ship and whatnot, it wouldn't get the same effect, I think, on a round coin. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so yeah, second in the series, we have the Vagul Drake. Magnificent ship, isn't it? Like, uh, you can only imagine how these would have been to um, sail on, being powered by nothing but the wind and um, the sails. I dare say it'd be a little bit more scary than it would be um, going on a ship in today's environment, uh, hence the series run of shipwrecks. So that's the Vigul Drake. Once again, it has a little bit of a change up of design on the back where the Queen is. And that's what's great about these coins. You do get um, both a different design on both front and back, or burst and reverse. So definitely a very um, well thought out coin. A lot of detail going into these coins. So that's the Vigil Drake. And guys, uh, thank you for my subscribers that have recently subscribed and all the ongoing subscribers. Uh, if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, it really does make a lot of difference. Uh, so if you can do that, that'd be really helpful. All right, third in the series is the Zootdorp. But anyone's, uh, if you guys have got the antique version, just leave that in the comments. I'd be interested to know if many people do actually have the antique. I know a few guys have. I've seen them um, show them off on Instagram. That's the Zootdorp. All right, guys. So here it is. This is the final coin of the Shipwreck series. It's called the Zewick. Uh, spelled Z-E-W-I-J-K. I think on the coin is Z-E-W-I-K. But we'll look past that. And that's it there. Full steam ahead. Her Majesty. Now, this uh, ship went down on the 9th of June, 1727, so 300 years ago. So, quite a while ago. Um, Australia has been trading and have um, been having ships come to the continent for quite a while. Unlike um, a few people don't realise that, but it uh, definitely is the case. We just don't have a very large population. Alright guys, so I um, hope you enjoyed the coin. hope um, if you haven't seen that before, you're impressed by it. I think it's a great coin. Um, and that does it for the series. So I think that was a well thought out series. It wasn't too long, wasn't too short, had nice designs and um, came out at a good sort of uh, rate wasn't just lumped on us all at once like uh, some of the ones at the moment have been 
getting um, done. Okay, guys, stay safe. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, once again, please give it a thumbs up. Um, until next time, everybody stay safe wherever you are in the world. Uh, have a good morning. Have a good evening. Have a good day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.